back on Cards TV to talk lacrosse and get to know some of the new members of our coaching staff. I'm Sean Moth. Great to see you again. We are thrilled to be joined by Christy Foote, who is here with us, new assistant coach for the lacrosse team. Christy, thanks for joining us. Yeah, thank you very much for having me. Let's talk a little bit just about you and about your background, sure. uh, where you grew up, what sports you played growing up, and, and how that turned your interest into lacrosse. Sure. Um, I grew up and originally from Canada, um, Etobicoke, outside of Toronto, um, and then my family moved to New York, um, the Rockland County area. Um, I was in sixth grade, so about half my life, pretty sure. much. Um, I played high school um, basketball, field hockey, and lacrosse. Um, my dad actually is a, in the Canadian Lacrosse Hall of Fame, so wow. um, my whole family has really been involved with lacrosse for since I was a little kid. Sure. Um, but I actually first started playing lacrosse with all boys, um, box lacrosse in Canada. So I was the only girl on the team in wow. a helmet. Um, yeah, didn't have any stick skills, just were bigger than the boys at that sure. time. <laughs> um, but then when we moved to New York, I had to find a new love for um, the game of girls, women's lacrosse. Um, so yeah, now here I am. <laughs> yeah, two totally different uh, games for what we talk about mm -hmm. with, with, with Kelly Young. Um, as, you, as you went into high school lacrosse and that and looked into a college career, what were some of your options as you went to move forward? Yeah, um, well, I had started playing club lacrosse in high school, um, but I was still playing, you know, basketball, field hockey all sure. um, year round. Um, and it, it was a whole different ball game back then. Um, I'm not that old, but um, <laughs> we only played in a couple tournaments. Um, and at that time you went on official visits. Um, so I was looking at other schools, um, UPenn, Syracuse, other Big East schools, um, pretty much all over. Sure. Um, but yeah. Talk about what, you, what got you into coaching and what, what inspired you to become a coach. Right. Um, I actually majored in business um, and I first started out, I didn't really know what I wanted to do once sure. I graduated. Um, you kind of go through your whole life, you know, just supposed to be here, supposed to be here, supposed to be here, and then kind of was like, what am I going to yeah. do with my life? <laughs> yeah, we've all been there. Yeah. <laughs> so um, everyone was like, you're going to get into coaching. Um, so I started out coaching a club team, Metro, which is in out of the New York, New Jersey area. It's a club team I actually played for. Okay. Um, and then from there, um, decided I really enjoyed coaching, and I coached all levels. And then I started at a Division three school. Um, just because I was like, let's try college. Yeah. <laughs> and um, started out at Drew um, with Kim Christos, who is an awesome mentor, um, and then was at Columbia for another year. Um, so I got the Ivy League kind of side of it. Sure. Um, and then went back to Notre Dame, and now I'm here. So. Absolutely. So obviously the Big East is not new to you. It's something you kind of yeah. grew up with. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure. Um, it's an awesome conference, especially for lacrosse. Um, it's always competitive um, every single year, um, and we're definitely hoping to get back there this year. Sure. Um, here is as one of our goals. As you came to Louisville and you, you, you met Coach Young and you walked through the offices and mm -hmm. saw the locker room and the field and that, I mean, what was your first impression? Because we always have our perspective. Right. We like to think it's pretty nice. Mm -hmm. Were you surprised when you walked in? Oh, for sure. I mean, Kelly contacted me and had me come down, and right away I was just you know, blown away. Um, the offices, the locker room, I mean, I've never seen anything like it at any of the schools I've visited or um, coached at or heard about. Sure. So definitely in the Division One, it's the top, top. Um, the facilities are awesome and it's it's really nice to know that you can run out for 30 minutes, do an individual with a couple kids and run back in your office all within 30 seconds. Yeah. Um, so there's so many advantages to this facility and sure. you know everything really. Uh, talk specifically then about your role with the team and, and what you'll be doing as we, we jump into the what's the 2012 season. Right, um, I'm going to be working with the offense so um, my title is offensive coordinator um, which is nice because I really do have a role as um, the offensive coordinator <laughs> with sure. that title yeah. being said um, I know what my responsibilities are um, but you know also helping in you, every day daily operations with recruiting, um, travel, sure. event planning, but um, the bulk of it is mostly player development and um, 
offense, yeah. Yeah, no so question. Excited. You, you don't get a lot of spare time in uh, collegiate athletics. <laughs> We're well aware of that. But when you right. do find a little time, what, what do you like to find yourself doing? Um, I really I love traveling. Um, all my family and friends are back on the East Coast or in Canada. So whenever I do have free time, I find myself taking long car rides um, back to the East Coast um, and just visiting with family. Um, I have a new puppy. So. Oh, wonder, but that keeps you very busy. <laughs> yeah, so he's exciting, yeah. Uh, and I'm, I'm going to dig back to something you yeah. talked about earlier and mm -hmm. just have you touch on a little bit. Your dad's in the Lacrosse Hall of Fame yeah. in Canada. Mm -hmm. Talk about his career and his influence on you. Yeah, um, well, he grew up, um, again, in Can he was born in Scotland, and then his family moved to Canada. And okay. my grandfather had coached him, and he actually had only played a year of lacrosse. He played other sports um, and made you know, the elite team and then played professionally. Um, at that time, it was really big and then it went away for a while and now sure. it's come back. But um, he was in Long Island, he was in Vancouver, all over. Um, but that, I mean, that's pretty much, I have an older brother um, who played as well and I always wanted to be like him. So sure. whatever he did, I kind of followed. Um, but you could find us in the backyard, you know, throwing around. Um, and my younger sister as well played at Notre Dame. So it's okay. a family, definitely a family tradition. Um, one that we've, you know, it's brought us together. Yeah. Um, so it's awesome. And he's, he coached my brother, he coached me, my sister. Um, and, you know, I wish I had listened to him. <laughs> I always go back to that. All those things he was telling me oh, I wish yeah. I had listened to. Um, yeah. But, yeah, he's definitely, you know, a mentor for me. I'm sure the as Boxing well. Day celebrations got a little game out in the backyard oh, every yeah. once in a while. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Outstanding. Well, Christy, it's been great <laughs> yeah. to get to know you. We you appreciate well. your time. Thank you very much. This is Christy Foote. You've had a chance to talk with her a little bit. Next time you see her, go ahead and introduce yourself, and maybe you can talk a little across. We appreciate you joining us right here on Cards TV.